uh, I want to acknowledge the work that Brendan and Christy and others have done here as well and keeping this on the agenda. Uh, you can see exactly what's happening and, and what they're trying to do. It's going to be death by a thousand cuts. And this is exactly what happens over and over again in the district, district hospitals and the community homes. And that's why we have the crisis in the acute hospitals then. So they will go, a, a bed will be, will be empty, another bed will be empty and another one after that. They won't replace them. They won't put patients into them. It doesn't make sense. You have a long uh, waiting list of people trying to get in and the same way in respite care. Then they will turn around to you in six months or 12 months time and say, there is no need for a McBride home in Westport. It can be accommodated in another town. The demand is not there. That's exactly what we're told in Belmullet when they try to close the beds there or close it down. Now they, they succeeded in, in cutting half of the beds in Belmullet Hospital. The fight is still ongoing to have those beds reinstated. As I said earlier in the week in, in, on Midwest Radio, offering somebody a three month contract is one sure way that you're not going to have the full time permanent staff there. So it's been done in a very de devious way in saying that we don't have a recruitment ban but putting it in such a way that you're not going to be able to recruit. The only way we are going to stop this and the only way we are going to enhance the services at the McBride home is for us all to stick together. It is time to forget about party politics. Civil war politics has not has not served the people here and it certainly hasn't served the McBride home. So my commitment to you is I will fight extremely hard, but I will fight with Christy, with Brendan, not fight with them, <laughs> but we will We have an odd fight. But it's it's people sticking together, it's people power, and it's people like you taking back control. Taking back control so these disastrous decisions aren't made that impacts on us all. It's not just about elder people, it is about their families and about everybody else in the community. I feel confident that we can do that if we stick together. Stick together. And that's my message to you. Okay, that's all I'd say. Thank you.